uh, welcome to ra online and uh, today's topic uh, will be on uh, lipomyelo meningocele which is uh, one of the forms of uh, spinal dysraphism so to briefly go into embryology embryology of the spinal cord uh, involves two processes one is uh, primary and the other is secondary neurulation primary neurulation occurs between the posterior uh, days between 25 and uh, 48 basically the primary neurulation is the uh, one which forms the actual neural tube and is involved in the closure of the anterior and posterior neuropore so primary neurulation happens between 18 to 27 days whereas secondary neurulation happens between 25 to 58 days so both these processes take place between 25 to 48 to 58 days in total so closure of the posterior neuropore marks the end of the primary neurulation so after this what happens is the secondary uh, neurulation and at this uh, point the fetal spine is covered by ectoderm fully and only the lumbosacral and coccygeal segments have not been developed so at the end of primary neurulation we have a fully formed spinal cord except for the sacral coccygeal and uh, the terminal uh, segments so any defect for LMMC to happen happens during the secondary neurulation phase any defect in primary neurulation that is when the anterior neuropore or the posterior neuropore has not closed leads to much uh, grosser deficits which are usually encephalocele or a myelomeningocele where the skin itself is deficient so what is secondary neurulation so as we saw only the caudal end of the spinal cord has to uh, has is yet to develop once the primary neurulation is over so the caudal end which uh, usually has undifferentiated undifferentiated uh, cells these condense to form what is called a caudal cell mass so this is the starting of secondary neurulation which happens around 28 day post ovulation this is the first step formation of a caudal cell mass once the caudal cell mass has formed the second second stage or uh, the second step of uh, secondary neurulation happens which is called canalization where the caudal cell mass canalate and uh, there is a terminal ventricle which forms here so this caudal cell mass is here and there is canalization happening and this usually happens between 27 to 29 days post ovulation so as we can understand these undifferentiated cells are totipotent and uh, they have to de-differentiate or they have to uh, retrogressively differentiate into only three structures at the end of it which is the phylum terminal coccygeal ligament and terminal ventricle of the conus only these three structures remain at the end of retrogressive differentiation and basically the embryological tail and all other undifferentiated cells vanish and this usually happens between post uh, ovulatory days 48 to 52 so these are the three steps one is formation of caudal cell mass second is canalization of the caudal cell mass and third one retrogressive differentiation so what exactly happens in retrogressive differentiation and uh, whether there is early disjunction of the spinal cord from the skin is where defects lie in lmmc so as i mentioned in my previous slide caudal cell mass has totipotent characteristics and uh, the bony vertebrae which subsequently develop around the uh, spinal cord the sacrococcygeal uh, segments especially they also should undergo regressive changes to decrease the number of number of segments which are originally present so all this differentiation is also affected a secondary neurulation is affected as a result we find vertebral malformations also a part of neural defects when we uh, neural defects during this secondary neurulation phase so mclon and colleagues came up with an embryological basis of uh, lipomyelomeningocele and uh, they suggested that premature disjunction of the closed neural tube that is the neural tube after primary neurulation and this premature disjunction from the cutaneous ectoderm is where the primary problem exists so since there is a premature disjunction a dorsal cleft exists and this uh, dorsal cleft permits paraxial mesoderm paraxial mesenchyma to have access to the lumen of the neural tube and this uh, 
paraxial mesenchyma which enters into the lumen of the neural tube prevents its close complete closure and leads to the development of a, a lipomyelomeningocele. So, the luminal surface of the ectoderm uh, which is uh, within the uh, spinal cord induces these mesenchymal cells which had entered from the parax mesenchyma and they differentiate into a adipocyte formation path and because of this we have the development of lipomatous cells which are usually present from the subcutaneous tissue along the tract and also in the spinal cord. So, basically the intraluminal adipocytes here form and the, along the tract also they will be having adipocytes and also in the subcutaneous tissue. And uh, according to McClone this all arose uh, because of premature disjunction and uh, a persistent uh, luminal axis through which the paraxial mesenchyma have gained access into the 